Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar. An indecisive spinning top yesterday that could also be seen as a bullish harami. It's all very tense right now. As the market has recently exited on the downside, the October to December 2023 bullish shift pitchfork and is currently testing not only the lower trend line, currently at 108.45, of the October 2023 to date broken bull channel, which is highlighted in green on my daily chart, but also the flatlining long moving average, currently 108.37. And we are just above the slowly rising medium moving average, currently at 107.80, as well as the May and April 2020 lows at 107.66 and 107 and a quarter, respectively. Overall, the market is still declining after reaching up in late December to the harder to reach secondary target X2, up at 111.11 of the July to October 2023 bear channel. Overhead, we have the two 50% Fibonacci lines of the 2023 move at 108.64 and a January 2021 to September 22 move at 109.44. So far today, a further attempt lower, just about making a lower low than yesterday, but still within this week's range. The market seems to be trying to unpick itself from the green lower bull channel line. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. An interesting piece of action yesterday. It was an indecisive spinning top, first off, but at the same time, it was also a bearish dark cloud cover pattern, a bearish double, and a key reversal down. All in all, I think the indecisive spinning top trumped the other patterns, which is saying something for the power of that pattern. The dip down yesterday pierced, but did not close below an ascending piece of support, and that's the rising short medium moving average, currently 126.63. And is, I suppose, to a certain extent, also the September 2020 low at 126.72. Overall, in recent days, the market has been loitering around the 50% Fibonacci line in the June 2016 to September 2022 move at 126.99. Now, in the bigger picture, I continue to wonder if we have a late August today potential cup with handle pattern or formation. Now, I'm not wedded to the idea, uh, especially as the handle is slowly becoming the handle of a saucepan rather than a cup. The one pattern that does look good is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, and that is a shallow now, November to December 2023 bullish shift pitchfork, with the market currently in between the overhead middle time currently at 127.30 and the lower time below currently at 126 even. The lower time is close to the large recent 50% Fibonacci line of the July to October 2023 move at 125.90 and a little above the flatlining long moving average currently at 125.61. So far today, a small dip to the short medium moving average. That's all. That's all right now. Euro sterling. A bullish harami yesterday, with a long tongue on top that stretched up to the important upper time currently at 85.63 of the late November to late December 2023 bearish Andrews pitchfork. That's highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. This upper tine has the unusual reinforcement of the declining short moving average, currently 85.69. This is seemingly a repeat of the actions we saw back in June, July, August and September 2023, when prices penetrated the support of the December 2022 lower 85.45, but were unable to exploit the move down, and eventually prices retreated back up. So, just keep an eye on that upper tine and the short moving average combination. 
especially towards the end of next week. Looking below, we have the bright red neckline currently at 84.92 of the May to August head and shoulders continuation pattern. However, there is a big picture item that will be settled today in that we are set up for a monthly, pick, uh, monthly key reversal at the close of business today. So if we close either above 86.68 or under 86.24, then we'd be on. Right now, we are most definitely on for a monthly key reversal down here and all the possibilities such a pattern may bring. So far today, a slightly higher open followed by a dip lower, though not as far as yesterday's move, as well as a, then a test up to December 2022 low 85.45, before moving back up towards yesterday's close and looking like a hanging man pattern right now. US dollar against the Japanese yen. An indecisive doji cross yesterday but there was enough of a gap to also call it a bullish harami. We're now into the third week of hanging around the flatlining medium moving average, currently at 147.47, and arguably into the hesitation phase of a possible late December 2023 to date bullish halfway hesitation. This is a possible pattern, or shall we say, one interpretation of recent actions, but it's not confirmed, not as yet. Overall, we are settled within two major pitchfork patterns. We have the February 2022 to January 2023 bullish shift pitchfork highlighted in purple on my daily chart. We are between the lower time below, which is currently at 142.32, and the dark uh, blue highlighted middle time above, and that's currently at 156.40.40. We're also close to the middle time above, currently at 149.59, of the July to. Um, yeah, July to December 2023, bullish Andrews pitchfork. So far today, not much, more or less matching yesterday's range, uh, but still hanging around the flatlining medium moving average and maybe moving a little higher. US dollar against the CNH, the offshore Chinese Yuan. A second consecutive indecisive doji cross yesterday with the overhead resistance nearby of the May 2020 high at 719.64 and the ever so slowly rising long moving average currently at 719.98. Whilst below we have the very slowly declining short medium moving average currently at 716.39. Though I have my doubts right now on how good if any that could be seen as a support I'd put more faith in the congestion was seen since November last year as support between roughly the lower, the lesser Fibonacci line at 711.61 all the way up to the May 2020 high. We obviously soon be heading into the quiet time of Chinese New Year, so Kung Hee Fat Choi to everyone, in though I think it's the coming year of the water dragon. So far today, very slow, not moving outside of yesterday's range as yet. US dollar against the Mexican peso. An immediate countering bearish double yesterday after the previous session's bullish engulfing pattern as the market continues to stay within bands of support and resistance. Overhead, we have the flatlining medium moving average currently at 1740.39, the July 2017 low at 1743.62, and the August 2017 low at 1756.93. Meanwhile, below, we have the, short line, the flatlining short medium moving average currently at 17.12.51, the March 2016 low at 17.09.23, and the April 2016 low at 17.03.89. Seems the market is still searching for some cause or direction to adopt. I just keep a weather eye open on the idea of a January based small bullish halfway hesitation. Now, I've not marked it on my daily chart as it's not that good looking right now, but it might still be there. So far today, a small move lower to test the short medium moving average. No more than that. No more than that right now. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank <laughs> you.